the start of Rocky's first birthday prep, which I'm super excited to do. The first little DIY I'm gonna do is this like little sun wall kind of thing. My friend is coming over because she's actually done this before. She did something similar for her daughter's birthday. And yeah, I luckily have her help to make it because I was completely lost, but it's actually fairly simple. I got everything from Hobby Lobby, so if you guys are curious for any of the supplies, definitely check there. Okay, so I actually had these because I wanted to make like little milestone things out of them and then I never did it. So I have a couple sets of these as well as this big one. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two out of here. One, I want it to be a full circle for a sun and then the other, I wanna cut one in half and do like a half and you just kind of like put all of the wheat out. And then I have all of these for a small one too. These I don't think I'm actually going to use for this DIY, but I do wanna use these as decor for like, just kind of throughout the inside and the tables and that kind of thing. And then we're just literally using a glue gun and a knife to cut it. Okay, so we just took the little wheat and cut it down so that way there's like an inch off of here and then enough to glue. And then we cut these in half and we're just gonna like place it on top so it'll look like the little sun. All right, it's late and the lighting is so bad but I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. I think I'm going to put them on the wall something like this. I'm not really entirely sure yet but super easy and cute little DIY that I'm probably going to use in our house as well after the party is over. Hello. It is late for me. I believe it's eight o'clock, 7.54. And it is less than two weeks from Rocky's party and I've literally done one project for it. So I need to get going. Um, I have done some shopping and I have gotten some things. I just haven't like actually done the projects. So the one I'm gonna show tonight is a charcuterie board thing for him. So I got his name um, written out in these like little cardboard boxes and I am going to cut off the top so that way we can like shove the food inside of them. And I thought that would be cuter than having like a full on table, but also I felt like it was gonna be more cost efficient because I would just have to fill the letters and I don't have to fill like a full table full of food. So we're gonna do like sweet and savory in these. I have some cookies that are ordered and then I'm gonna make Actually, no, I'm gonna do cupcakes too. So I might just like do some fruit and other things, but then it'll sneaking around the corner. But yeah, let me show you kind of what we're doing here. Okay, so I got these letters from Joann's. This is a foot, I believe, and I think they're an inch and a half deep, but they come like this, and you literally just take an X-Acto knife and you cut off the top. So that way you can like put food. And I think they suggest to put like wax paper. I'm gonna have this set up, like I said, for all of the food. And then of course we're gonna have like some platters and stuff because I don't think everything will fit in here. But yeah, I think it's gonna look super cute. I like how big it is. I feel like it's a decent size. And yeah, let's get to cutting. I'm actually not going to time lapse. I'm just gonna do some YouTube magic. So ready? One, two, three. They're not perfect, but they're gonna be covered with a bunch of food, so whatever. I'm so over it. That took me 30 minutes, which isn't horrible, but my trap hurts from like intensely using this and trying not to cut myself. So project number two, complete. I have another little DIY project. I wanna make this little tassel thing to put on Rocky's high chair when he does the cake smash and could have just bought it, but I wanted like really personalized colors and I know they're simple to make. So I went to Joann's. I got this like thicker breast orange color, a thinner like yellow, and then a cream as well. And I'm gonna do three of each. Tassels are super easy to make if you look on Pinterest and just like search how to make a yarn tassel. It'll walk you step by step. But I will do a little montage to show you. I also got these beads from Joann's too to just like put in between the tassels. And then, yeah, it's gonna be super simple. But another DIY to hopefully save some money and just like make things super personalized. I did one of each color just to kind of show you guys what they're looking like. They're nothing perfect by any means, but they do the trick. 
and then I'm just gonna do three of each color and then put a bead in between each one and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end okay I'm talking kind of quiet because Nathaniel is on a work call like literally down the hall but it's not perfect but it's not horrible I feel like what I'm struggling with is the little thing that you tie at the top here to like keep the loop which I'm actually wondering now I think I can cut that off wait I think I can cut that off if I cut it off and it ruins it I'm gonna be so sad also don't know what the hell happened right there but I mean you guys get the point right like close enough right <laughs> I think it's cute okay I'm sharing because I want this to help you guys if you make this but I clipped off the top after I had looped it through here and it totally worked but I realized that I didn't like fully loop it through all of them so I'm gonna have to take it apart and like re-loop like this one's the worst I apparently made it through like one <laughs> but yeah, that looks so much better. The top looks a lot cleaner, which I think looks super cute, so. Good morning, you guys, welcome. I don't know how I'm gonna piece this video together, but if this is the beginning, this is Rocky's birthday prep party day, and I am so freaking excited. I cannot believe we were celebrating this kid being one years old, like to me, that is just like, I'll never get over it. I, I just had him. I just had him. Today is the morning of his party and there's a lot to do, but we have also done a lot as well. And I started doing a bunch of time lapses and I just felt like it was too much. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys what we have going on and what we're going to continue to do. All of the companies that I worked with have all the stuff here. So that's super exciting because we can just like set up whenever we're ready. I was a little stressed about the timing of everything. So I'm glad that that worked out. Also, I wanted to add, I will try my best to link as much as I can for you guys. If you guys are doing a similar theme or you just like some of the stuff that we have, I will leave it down below. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through what we have and go from there. All right, we're just gonna start here. So first of all, this little hat I have for Rocky for when he does his smash cake. I'm gonna see if he'll wear it, it's so freaking cute. I actually made this little like a uh, stat poster. Don't even get me started on the struggles that this took. I seriously spent way too much time on it. It ended up not being clear and then my freaking charger to my computer died. And so I haven't had my computer this week. So I had to make it on my iPad and then I had to freehand it. And so that's why it's like kind of crazy here. But this is so fun. If you guys have a birthday party for any of your kids, I feel like it's so cool to just like let people know like what's going on in their life. And then I did this little monthly photo banner. Super simple, but you guys look like, I swear, that is not Rocky. Like what? <laughs> but yeah, so there's all of his little monthly photos on here. And then I just had like extra beads and tassels from the garland I made for his high chair. So I just kind of added that. You guys saw this little DIY, but I also have like separate or uh, leftover dried floral that I'm gonna kind of sprinkle throughout the house. And then I made this, I can't tell if I love it or I hate it, but I'm gonna put it on Rocky's cake as like a little cake topper. So there's that. And then this is to go on the little kids table that we have as like little decor. These are gonna be like the centerpieces. And then this is gonna be just like for each kid. Um, by the way, my sister always gets me flowers and she's literally the sweetest freaking human ever. I, I love her. <laughs> oh, and then this is just like by our trash can, so don't mind it. But I finally got the leg wraps for the chair. So that way it'll match with his little sun thing. We'll have the little garland I showed you guys making right there. And that'll be super cute. Okay, this is the chaos that is our house right now. So I will show all of this more when it's like fully done so you guys can see it in its glory. But these are a bunch of companies that I'm working with and I'm just obsessed with everything. I can't wait to see it to come to life. Like, are you kidding me? Are those not the most like precious things you've ever seen? So yeah, our house is currently in chaos. Oh, and then also we're gonna do like a little play area right here. So we've got the pickler. I don't know how to set that up. It's my friends and I need to ask her. And then we have like a little wobble board too. And then we left out like his um, ball pit too. And then it's not currently blown up, but the white bounce house is here as well. And then these are gonna go outside next to it. So it's gonna look so good. Nathaniel is an angel and he is cleaning the back patio right now. He moved all of our furniture over there. He's making it look so good. So 
thankful for him. My mom and sister and her boyfriend are on her way to, are on their way to come help us with some stuff. We are gonna do all of the food prep right now. I also am gonna finish making Rocky's cake. And yeah, so I'm just excited to show you guys. I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. I'm excited to see it myself. It's, yeah, it's gonna be so fun. I decided inside I'm not gonna go crazy on decor because I felt like the balloon arch, that kind of thing was like a big statement. And I felt like if I did something in this room, I would have to do a lot and I just did not, I procrastinated if I'm being honest. So it just didn't happen, but I still think it's gonna be super cute and just so fun. So yeah. If any of you guys wanna make your kids like smash cake, I did it and it's super simple. So I actually had these like little circle cake pans. My mom gave these to me so long ago and I never had a purpose for them and I finally did. So I baked this last night and then I just like shaved off the top, if you guys can see, and put them in the fridge so that they like kind of solidified and it would make it easy to stack them. And then I just made some frosting. I ended up just doing like a box cake and then I made this uh, frosting from scratch. I just felt like that was gonna be easier and taste good. And then I got one of these bags to like pipe it, the frosting on here. My sister told me, cause I was like wanting one of those rotating plates, but she just said to use a, a plate and turn it. So to me super easy. And then this is for the cupcakes too, which I don't really know if I'm gonna decorate them much. Just put icing. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and to cup my tea. I can take what I need to get right, This is the finished product. I kind of did like a naked cake, I think is what it's called, where you can see like the cake. Rocky doesn't really like like sweets that much. We tried to give him some this morning and he like spit it out. So this is what it looks like. I can't tell if I love or hate the thing on the top. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together All right, it's been some time, but I'm finally ready. We're about like 40 minutes out from the party. And I just wanted to go around and show you guys like the little details of what I did and the companies that we used and just go from there. This is the first DIY you guys saw me do and I'm sorry, my whole family's here talking so just try and listen to me. But we just decided to put this here as like a little feature wall and then this is where like all of the toys are for the kids to play inside too with the little setup. My sister Brielle is the most perfectionist person and she is perfectly spacing my cupcakes but we just used like the dried floral that was left over to like top these. And then these are the cookies. So this is a girl, uh, her name is Lyric. I will link her account, but she made these and they're seriously so precious. We have the happy birthday Rocky and then a little sun and a one. Looks so good. This is how Rocky's little high chair for his smash cake turned out. We got these outside successfully without anything popping. Thank goodness I am waiting to put them in the sun until um, it's more closed just so that they don't get damaged or popped. But this is the little kid <laughs> set up tables and I'm seriously obsessed. The chairs and um, like tables, they're like mini and they're from another company that I will tag here for you guys. It's called the Petite Party Co. if you guys are local. And then these I actually have left over from my wedding. These little mini forks and these napkins and I just put the dried floral again with these like little vases in the center too so yeah super cute if you guys are local like this is literally making the party <laughs> so darling okay so this is three companies in one right here um it's super cool so this is a balloon company called create and inflate and they did such a good job on this arch these little backdrops are from a company called desert dream rentals i believe and then this one is inflate 48 i cannot wait to see rocky get up on this cute little white bounce out. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Rocking, Rocky! <laughs> Oh, 
take you back to my room I'll show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with the place to me In the morning I hung the spoon The other ring and I risk is going on Very with the light of home When I return from my skin and bone Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I do not know where I left off yesterday. It was such a good turnout and party, but there was so many people here, and our house like could not stay cool because there was just so many bodies, people going in and out, and I just like got stressed and stopped vlogging. But I wanted to just pick it up and kind of wrap up this video by showing you guys Rocky opening some presents. He got an overwhelming amount which is it's just it's a lot which we're just so thankful for all of our friends and family but we're gonna have him open some of them and yeah i'm really hoping that i was able to showcase like all of the rental companies that i worked with they seriously were all so amazing and i still have the little like tables and chairs right here and i wish i could keep them they're seriously so dang cute but i will make sure to leave all the links to like anything and everything that I can down below. Definitely all the rental companies and then like all the little things that we purchased just for decoration and that kind of thing. But yes, we're gonna open some presents. Rocky's super excited, which is super fun. He actually has like some interest now because at Christmas he did not. You guys, look at how many. This is literally like more than he would get on Christmas. It's seriously crazy. We're definitely gonna let him like open all of them and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to keep them all out. I think I've mentioned in this in the past, but just to like, I don't know, not bombard them and stuff, but look, this is for my grandparents and they personalized it and wrote Rocky's Panda. He saw this yesterday and he loved it. Hi it's buddy. Open, buddy. Do you even know what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Look at the book. Inside my mittens, I've got like this. Oh, he's gonna rip that thing off. <laughs> Be together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait. Okay, actually, Rocky was not a huge fan of opening presents. He would much rather just like kind of sit there and play with them after or play with the toys he already has. So we ended up just like kind of opening them all ourselves and we'll just kind of show them to him here and there but that is it for this birthday prep birthday day uh, party vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed like i said i'll have all the links to all the rental companies and anything that we purchased down below that i can so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Hold on. Put me together. take me back where i belong